Good morning. Our story today is In November by Cynthia Ryland. It's illustrated by Jill Kastner. And this is one of my favorite fall stories. In November, the earth is growing quiet. It makes its bed, a winter bed for flowers and small creatures. A bed is white and silent, and much life can hide beneath its blankets. In November, the trees are standing all sticks and bones. Without their leaves, how lovely they are, spreading their arms like dancers. They know it's time to be still. In November, some birds move away and some birds stay. The air is full of goodbye and well wishes. The birds who are leaving look very serious. No silly springtime chirping now. They have long journeys and must watch where they are going. The staying birds are serious too. For cold times lie ahead, hard times, all berries will be treasures. In November, animals sleep more. The air is chilly and they shiver. Cats pile up in the corner of barns. Mice pile up under logs. Bees pile up in deep earthy holes. And dogs lie before the fire. In November, the smell of food is different. It's an orange smell, a squash and a pumpkin smell. It tastes like cinnamon and can fill up a house in the morning and can pull everyone from bed in a fog. Food is better in November than any other time of year. In November, people are good to each other. They carry pies to each other's homes, talk by crackling wood stoves, sipping mellow cider. They travel very far for a special November day just to share a meal with one another and give thanks for their many blessings, the food on their tables and the babies in their arms. And then they travel back home. In November at Winter's Gate, the stars are brittle the sun is a sometime friend, and the world has tucked her children in with a kiss on their heads till spring. I really love this book. We found this at the library when my daughter was little, and we ended up buying it because we liked it so much. But our favorite thing about it was um, I had always not really liked it when the all the leaves were off the trees. I never saw any beauty in that. And to be able to say the trees were all sticks and bones um, standing like dancers, that was something that my daughter picked up on early. And I remember her being maybe two years old. And every time we'd go outside, she'd say, look at the trees like dancers. <laughs> and it really, to me, tells a little bit more about the beauty of the season. Sometimes we can easily see the beauty of some seasons. And this late, our early winter, um, late fall, is sometimes a little harder. And I like the way that this book showed us the beauty in even this season. Have a wonderful day today, and I will see you 
tomorrow at worship. Bye.